Alright guys, we're going to do a new video today. Different video today. We're going to roast the whole pig on the barbecue grill. It happens to be Christmas Eve right now. So Merry Christmas everybody. And uh, we're going to show you how to do it step by step. Alright ladies. What's up guys, oh. Island Life Fishing here. So we're gonna do a different kind of video today. We're gonna do a uh, cooking video, all right? First cooking video, we're gonna do a little series in 2019. So today we're gonna do uh, how to roast a, a whole pig on the barbecue. It's Christmas Eve right now, so Merry Christmas everybody. And uh, we're gonna do step by step, show you how to do it, all right? Let's go. All right. All right, you guys, so basically we're gonna marinate this pig. You can pretty much use anything you want. I married an Argentinian, so I use chimichurri, okay? Uh, she basically makes it fresh. And uh, we marinate the pig for 12 hours. Perfect. And then basically you're gonna take off any excess thing like uh, parsley or garlic or anything like that that might burn up on the grill, okay? All right, we're gonna get this guy on the grill and get it started. Nice. All right, B, grab that side. All right. All right. Duke, move it. Hey, drop, drop that leg in there. Drop this leg? Yeah. All right, so basically we're gonna put them face down first, okay? Okay. All right, so basically you wanna get this pig nice and flat on the grill. And the key is slow roast slow cooking so bring the camera in close so we can hear it a little bit you should just barely hear sizzling all right stay tuned we'll keep going all right all right all right you guys so now as soon as you put the pig on here what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some salt i don't put the salt first okay you're gonna put the salt now on the skin what that does it's gonna make this skin crunchy all right it's called chicharrones yes it is what is it called in english Pork rinds? Yeah. Anyway, whatever. It gets yeah. crunchy. It's awesome. So check it out. So we're gonna sprinkle the. It's not very heart healthy, but you know, it tastes awesome. It tastes great. <laughs> Pretty great. And then basically, after you get the whole top, the whole skin covered, just gonna kind of rub the salt in, and between the moisture of the skin, it'll dissolve the salt, and it'll create. Once we flip them over later it'll create a, a crunchy skin and it's delicious. All right, stay tuned. All right, so now we're gonna take and we're gonna cover it up and create like a little roasting oven here, okay? You can use banana leaves if you have those. You can use aluminum foil, anything else, it's fine. I used to use banana leaves, but the wife cut the tree down. Listen do is you want to make sure it's completely covered okay it seals the moisture in and it helps to uh, keep the meat super super tender all right so we put the pig on we put them on at like 11 30 and basically i'm pretty much counting on like six hours here as long as you keep that slow roast and you hear that little sizzle there you should be good all right stay tuned all right so i don't know if the gopro is going to pick up the sound but this is the sound i'm talking about just barely hearing the hiss of that fire is where you want it okay very very slow roasting keep them covered and just wait all right all right you guys so you're gonna basically uh stoke these uh charcoals so when they start to get gray like that you're just gonna pop them and basically it kind of smashes them down and it gets all the heat out of them that you can once you're barely hearing anything from this barely any sizzle you're gonna put just a little bit more fire on the areas that need it smelling good all right you guys so now what we do is we're about two hours in now okay and uh, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna feel 
if it's hot, warm, and the, the hardest places to cook are gonna be the shoulders here and then the piernas, which is like the, the thighs, okay? So basically right now, starting to feel some heat here. Not as much heat here, so we're gonna put more fire on that side. Some good heat here. And again, not as much heat here. So we're gonna put more fire here and more fire here. And the way we do that is just to put more charcoal down in there, more charcoal down in there. And then you're gonna heat up those spots a little bit more, all right? You hear the sizzling a little bit? And that's all you wanna hear right there. Beautiful, coming along. All right, we'll check in a little bit. Nothing is super important that most people don't realize when you're cooking with charcoal or wood is you gotta kinda have a secondary fire, yeah? So I have this little uh, pizza oven that we built and basically we just keep our fire in here. You could do it in any little barbecue, anything else that could just hold fire so that when the charcoals, you get the charcoal ready, you can put it back on your uh, on your roast. So there you go. So we have our charcoals getting good and ready in here and then we'll transfer some over to the roast. Basically, we're gonna concentrate that fire just like we did before. Concentrate that fire on the areas that were a little cooler. Thicker areas, the thighs and the shoulders. All right, Let's see how it comes. All right, so we got a good sizzle going now. You can hear. Take a look and see how our guy is doing. So we have this cooking up to this area here, that different color. That means it's getting cooked up to that area so far. So looking good. Get her uncovered in a minute here. We go ahead and take a little wood and kind of cover this thing up. That way, just less heat escapes. And as you can see, you can pretty much use anything. I'm using a piece of wood and a couple of heat bricks, but anything will work. I have a little lid here just to keep a little extra heat in. Smelling good. All right. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna take a look and see if it's ready to flip. So when we do this, we're only flipping it one time. So basically what we're looking for here is the different color coming up here. That means it's cooking all the way up. And then these areas that are still white, you got to make sure that they're warm, like, like almost hot. You can still touch them, but yeah, they're hot. All right, looks like it's ready to go. What was it, three hours so far? What do we got? Yeah, like three or four hours. Yeah, like three and a half hours, I think, so far. Three or four. So we're going to flip it over, and then uh, we'll catch you there. All right. Okay. All right, you guys. So basically, uh, anytime you grill something real big, it's going to stick to the grill a little bit, no matter what you do. So you just want to take... I don't know, a big knife like this or so, and just kind of like unstick it before you try to flip them over, yeah? All right, and we'll be flipping them here in just a second. All right, you just done. All right, so we're gonna right. basically just lift and flip them on over. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And that's basically what you want to see right there. Nice solid chicharron right here like these are ready right now like right oh shit oh look at this nice. no. Yeah, no no come nah, on nah, 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 come on come on so what we got right here nah, oh that, man. shit the man, the man right here that taught it all baby oh. yeah so we're gonna do it do right there i stepped on tiki's tail on accident she freaked out i don't even know where like, she went that's right there dude this might be like the best that I've ever done. Yeah? Look at this, it's no, no burn, oh, no, it's not no burn, burn at all, yeah. dude. Oh my God, how's this? I'm not even chimmy on that yet, bro. <laughs> no chimmy yet. <sighs> no chimmy yet. Yeah, it's already it's freaking so legit. Good, dude. dude, that's a perfect piece right there. So, when that cools off, just, here, you can take that right now. 
That's oh, hard. dude, man, that's good. It's the best one I've ever done. Oh my god, that's good. Oh my god, dude, yeah, that was good, bro. <laughs> mm. Oh man, that's good shit. Man. Dude, that's... You gotta bring mom a little piece. Hold on. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Here, let, let's hold on. With some skin though. Oh my god, that's good. Getting better and better every year. Right? Oh Ooh. my god. I keep saying the best part of this all this head. Yeah bro. Oh. That's the that's oh that's on the line. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna bring a piece to the mama. Oh my gosh, you can hear the it's not crunch. Even yet. What do you think? Amazing. Nice. You hear the crunch, then it's how you know it's mm. good. <laughs> Alright. Alright, right, so now chimney. we got the chimichurri that my wife made. I could tell you the recipe, but then I'd probably have to kill you. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, good luck with that. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and now that this side of the pig is completely cooked, by the way, guys. That's why we were able completely to cooked. eat it. The other side is still needs to cook some more. So we're gonna have a couple more hours for the other side, but this side, that's why we're able to take a couple of bites. Um, and basically, as you see, I'm loading up the chimichurri on this side, okay? What we're gonna eventually do is we're gonna have this little pool of marinade boiling. And once it gets to that point, it's pretty close to being done. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this all in there really good. And then we're just gonna cover it back up and keep it cooking just how we had it before. Not too noisy, but just enough so we hear. All right, let's go. All right. Okay. All right, so basically, uh, important thing to note here, you wanna put a new piece of foil on top of this when you cover it this time, because this side is cooked already. So the other foil we had was sitting on a raw pig, so we can't use that. We're throwing that one away. Very important to remember to use a new piece of foil or new banana leaves or whatever you're covering it with. Uh, after you flip it, all right? All right. All right, you guys, so we're six hours in here. Pig is pretty much done. About to take them off right now. Six hours slow roasting. And it's about to be legit. We say, boys. Oh, oh, oh. You, you. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. Done. So what we're gonna do here, and then you have like a party full of people that are super stoked. Stoked, 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 stoked. Yeah. So if you cook it right, it's friggin' awesome. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's do that again. We got that yeah. man right here that taught me all, baby, alright? 